Turtle Club. How's it going? It is I, Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and this is Mag vs. Wild. And it has been a hot minute since we've been streaming this particular series at this particular hour on this particular day. Um, why is that? I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably asking that at the Turtle Club, and the, the short answer is, well, life kind of happened, and things happened. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? And uh, because life happened and things happened, we weren't able to have as much time as we'd like, and now we have that time. So we're taking that time back. We're going to be able to play a lot more on Sundays. Um, we're hoping moving forward that we'll be able to stream this in five-hour blocks like we used to. Uh, 4 a.m. to 9 on Sunday is kind of what we're hoping for. But you never know. Um, there, of course, will be uh, breaks. I'm, I'm old. And I can't just sit forever. You shouldn't sit forever either. Um, and so about every hour or two, we're going to get up, move around for a second. We'll have an intermission screen pop up, and we'll be back. But uh, this is the Hope server, the Brutal Arc server that we played last Sunday. And we have put in a few hours on it. Um, we have the at the new mod that we're talking about, the, the bait mod, the... Um, it's called Immersive Taming, and so far it seems interesting. I've not done anything with it other than make sure that it actually works. So we're going to be kind of getting into that a little bit. The other thing that's really uh, cool that I've noticed is these Primal Spears. They do torpor damage, so they're going to make taming some of these dinos that um, are kind of intro level dinos a little bit easier. Uh, that said, though, our little dino here, our little island area that we kind of cut out for us, um, it's it's not as safe as we hoped it was. <laughs> um, we've we've actually had a couple of Dilophosaurs kind of around here. We've had some toxic uh, dodos, which those just seem to be annoying. Uh, I I don't know anything other than that except for they do lay eggs uh, they're, they're toxic eggs so I kind of find them suspect I don't think I want to be eating them but you know you, you kind of do what you got to do uh, at some point we might find ourselves having to eat a few but so that said um, we've not really explored a whole lot of this island I mean we had the <laughs> The disastrous beginning where we kind of parachuted toward the middle on the easy section. And then this little swamp area, which is kind of easy as we go over here. Hey, Bala, how's it going? And the Turtle Club Bala and Chain, um, one half of the wonderful duo of Bala and Chain and Bahamut uh, on their channel. They both stream. They do some family-friendly stuff. They're actually going to be at PAX South coming up. So really excited to see what comes out of that with them and several other people from our little streaming circle. Uh, we just weren't able to do it this year, but we're, we're hoping to do something as a as a uh, as a replacement. So I'm looking forward to that maybe. But we are we're doing pretty good so far on this little map. Well, Ballin is family friendly. Yes, Ballin is family friendly. You try. And you know that, that's that's exactly you know like like that down there on our channel. Sometimes we cuss, we don't mean it. Uh, sometimes when you see something extremely um, exciting, you can't help but fist pump and use words that you only use when you're truly ecstatic about something. Um, of course, unless you're Digret, Digret tries and doesn't even realize when she's when she's failed. But that's one of the reasons why I love her. She's one of the most direct and honest people that I've ever met in my life. All right, let's see here. We got a, a few things that look kind of scary. Now, on this server, one of the things we have done, uh, people out there that are arc, arc positive, um, we've turned down the overhead display for people and dinosaurs. And that is potentially going to get us in a lot of trouble because there's all these, hey, gig. There's all these new things. You only use those words when you're happy. You use them when you're angry, sad, and different, hungry. I I use them um, 
sometimes in those cases as well. But I'm a pretty chilled person, Baja, so I, I, uh, I generally, it takes me a lot to get to that point. Like, a lot. And some of those words, like, when I use them, because my, my natural vocabulary, my natural inclination for my vocabulary is so just subdued, when I use them, it usually has a lot of shock on the people that are around me. Like, it takes them completely aback. Like, they're like... Oh gosh, what did Mag just say? Okay, we've really made him mad now. We need to leave him all sorts of, of the alone. But, uh, it's pretty interesting that Baja, you can see them, um, like, asleep. Though Digret kind of does the same thing when she's sleeping, so I guess I see the, the, the sameness there. Alright, so we see there's a, a Karn over here. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. It absolutely does. Digret has quite a few in her back pocket that she keeps her just for certain emergencies when she needs that extra level of impact. Here lately, though, she's been... We've watched a lot of... We've watched all of The Mandalorian. Um, and so there's some of the phrases from The Mandalorian that she's just kind of picked up. And they, they mean things that don't necessarily mean the same. You're not giving examples. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, so there is a Carno over there. Oh yeah, that's... And you know, and it's not like... We haven't seen it yet. Heard amazing things. It, it's, it's really good. Um, Digret's never watched anything Star Wars related. And so for Christmas, I... I agreed to devote part of my personal budget to pay for Disney Plus. She also has never seen like if you can think of just any Disney movie off the top of your head, she's not watched it due to how she was brought up. Her her father was a minister, her mother is a minister's wife, and so because of that household environment, there's a lot of things that we and I would consider mainstream, like common. That's a toxic dodo, most likely. We're gonna leave it alone. We're going to hopefully get some steak over here and eat some steak before we start to starve and take damage. But there's a lot of things that she's never seen. And so it's always amazing that I'll, you know, talk about things like the, the Disney effect. And she's like, well, what is that? I'd be like, it's, you watch a Disney movie and you know something horrible is going to happen because you can't have a real happy ending without having, like, Bambi's mother die. And she's like, how horrifying! Yeah, no Star Wars. No Star Wars at all. Um... When we first got married, she hadn't seen or read Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so many Disney movies. I know. I know. And there's, you know, we've watched a couple. Like, she's watched the, uh, oh, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to open that. Uh, like, The New Beauty and the Beast, she watched that. And she really liked it. Um, she's watched uh, The Lion King. And that was that was because I had to like show her with visual usage what the Disney effect really was, and she's like, "That's just," she's like, "Poor Simba." I'm like, "Yeah, but you know, unless it all happened, he just wouldn't have been a any kind of a good character to watch." We're just gonna destroy these sleeping bags for the the leather. Uh, Dumbo, yeah, Dumbo is definitely one of those that. Um. There's a good message there, you know, it was always inside of you, but that's from that really bad spot of Disney where they just, I mean, it, when you watch the movie and you see some of the actual characterizations they did, current Disney, you know, like, you know, modern Disney, you look at it and you go, wait a second, that's not Disney. But if you look at a lot of the old Disney stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, that actually is Disney, that's bad. So it's, you know, so it's kind of easy to see why some families wouldn't want their kids watching Disney growing up because of some of the, some of those, uh, values that they persisted in having. It just dawned on me that Bala and Baja are up at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> okay, here's, here's a, mm, 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 mm. All right, here's a toxic dodo. I have no clue what we do to like make these things be less than what they have been here but so far 
this thing hasn't killed me. I want to throw that out there. This thing's been wandering around here, walking around, eating crackers like it owned the place. And so far, all it's done is it's knocked me down like three or four times, and it just walked off. Like it, just, it like I wasn't even worth its time to eat. Toxic creatures take a lot more torpor than usual. Okay, well, I have a torpor spear. Do they have some sort of different diet giggity? Or is it just like, haha, you knocked me out, and now you just feed me berries, and then I become yours? But yeah, a lot of classic Disney um, is kind of like hit or miss on the whole values thing. So I know if I grab these. Flint and wood. Hey, Keo! Prefer rotten food or narcotics? You forget which. Well, I got some rotten food, so we'll be uh, we'll be feeding them some rotten food then. And flint, which we have a little bit of. I think we can get more flint out of here. Lots more flint out of there. All right, and some wood. I do know that this thing really beat me just completely slack-jawed earlier. Alright, well that's good to kind of know. Alright, this thing, these things are good for leather, for hide. They're going to make cute little noises and we're going to be very sad while we hit it with our axe and our pickaxe. But this is the circle of life. Alright, so we're gonna increase our We're gonna increase our weight to an even number because we just can't. We we have to even. Yeah, oh yeah. So that that's the one thing on the server here. This this particular game, Baja, if you've not played it, it's it's really nice. It's like Minecraft plus um, you can't destroy everything, but that's okay because you kind of need some of the world to stay around. But the really cool component is the dinosaurs, obviously. And normally it's a pretty casual, chill, laid-back kind of gameplay. But I've been playing this game for thousands of hours. And so I'm to the point to where I'm like a, I wouldn't say an addict but I need something a little bit more challenging to, to really get my feel out of it. And so this particular gameplay has a lot more challenge to it than normal. And let's see here. We're gonna take the spoiled rotten meat and we're gonna go over here. And I think we got some, nope, we don't. We got some cooked meat though. Oh yeah, absolutely giggity. And the, the way that there's just a really large modding community through an official Steam system, uh, through the workshop system. So it allows for a whole lot of interesting configuration and addition and changes to be done. I don't know where that toxic dodo went to. That's not it. When I lose track of what I'm hunting, it really kind of makes me a little bit on the nervous side. Well, what? Did it just die? Or did it find something to kill it? Oh, Factorio. Oh, yeah. And uh, Satisfactory. I played that game for way longer than I streamed it. Like, way longer. Yeah, it, it, it something caused it to die. That is a rare drop from it, from the toxic creatures. Uh, it could be, Gig. It, it may not be, though. Because remember, since we're playing with Brutal on the server, the quality of loot drop has been turned to like five times what's normal. 
because when you get good loot like that, it actually raises the likelihood that you're going to be attacked by dinosaurs even higher. So it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of the other. It might have. I, I don't know how... I don't know how aggressive the Toxic Dodos are. If they thought they could take on a, a Bronto, then that's a, that's a problem. We're going to have to do something. I mean, when, when a Brontosaurus... When that's what the brontosaurus leaves behind from a, a compost, um, you don't just don't want to fight it. I mean, that's a boulder-sized uh, defecation there, guys, and that's 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 not good. I do know. All right. Oh, that's a raptor. Oh. No bueno. We thought we were like free of the raptors. Technically we still kinda are because it's chasing that moss chops. Very, very true, Baja. Um, they definitely went extinct for reasons. Oh my gosh. I don't know what level this thing is, but it's gonna tear into me. Oh. All right. I'm the hunter now. Come on. Come on. Hit it with my with my my spear a couple times and it got it got stunned. Torpor spear. All right, it's down. Um all I have is some cooked food. Could have sworn I had something. Oh well. We're going to. Alright, little dodo, die. I need you to die so I can feed this raptor. Getting a raptor like that's really, really lucky. And all that luck went away with the dodo just vanishing. Oh my gosh. All right, fine, little raptor. You, you win. You get my food. You've hunted down megalodons with strong narcotics. Yeah, we have the. Uh, it just cracked into the ground. Yeah, it, it. We hit it so hard, it decided just to fly off and, and go away. All right. All we gotta do is hope that nothing that eats raptors is over here anywhere. Okay, so this rock right here is kind of like our our landmark. All right, twenty six percent tame. So he's teaming pretty quick. He definitely has no clue what happened. One minute he's walking around. Oh yeah, the toxic fiomia around here? Oh no, forget about that. I want I want absolutely nothing to do with that toxic fiomia. It, it definitely Alright, we need to run this away. Just long enough to grab into our inventory. Get our other spear. No, 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 no. You look. Stay right there. No, no. Should have thought about fighting somebody else. Oh, that wasn't even my. That was my no. That was my my torpor stick. Ah. I didn't want to use my torpor stick. I forgot to switch my weapon after I switched my inventory. Okay. That was the sound of me leveling up in Brutal. There we go. Our 
spear broke, but we're fine with that. We leveled up again. We're gonna go melee damage, and it's gonna be. We're probably gonna cap our melee at like 120. All right, little raptor. What are you doing here? You're eating raw meat. That's great. You got a little bit of my steak. You're not gonna get all my steak. Here's a nice little turtle. She's level 80. Right when they do the cruel thing, go sideways jump. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to probably wind up dying in a few seconds because we're going once again to the scary swampy area. It's uh, let's get us a poking stick. Quite the level up music. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. When you hear the level up music, it this it it's pretty epic. All right. Here's a supply drop. Oh, it's got all good supplies in it. No combat music, so we're good there. Going to go bed. All right. Oh, I always good to see you guys too. Thank you. And guys, check out Ball and Chain and, and Baja. They, they are awesome to watch. Baja has got his own stuff. It is generally not as family friendly as Ball and Chain is. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's still entertaining stuff to watch. Yeah, thank you guys. And I hope you guys have an awesome time at, at PAX. Pack South guys kicking off in about 11 days. A yellow Rex. Well, I almost have a Raptor. Can we Alpha Raptor, Toxic Raptor, Apex Raptor? You've tamed a raptor. Okay. Um, the raptor's name is officially Jeff. I don't know if Jeff's going to. Uh, well, we can rename Jeff later. Raptor saddle. We have components to maybe make a saddle. We need some more hide. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hope I can make it to back too. It's like on my agenda of things that I want to do in my life. It, it's and some missing flak. That's some pretty good stuff. I'm dehydrated. Find water. It says. All right. It's getting dark out, which is usually dangerous here. And. I'm sure that this particular mod is not going to change that level of danger one iota. That's good to know. All right, let's see here. Level 360 versus 117. I think Jeff would probably chase that thing we need to see it again but I'm pretty sure it'll eat that thing like it was popcorn chicken All right, Jeff, you got some leather? You got some leather, Jeff. All right, awesome. And Jeff's already leveling up. We're gonna go ahead and level up his melee. The faster he kill things, the better off we're gonna be with it, I think. All right, Jeff. Eat that one next. All right, so we need 110 leather. We're getting pretty close. I 
bet that's worth a lot of leather, but that's level 360. It would it would drag him everywhere. It would drag him everywhere. All right, we don't want to be doing that. We can avoid it. Just get us some thatch while we're waiting for the sun to come up. It's currently a long, long way before the sun comes up. The other thing we need to start doing is we really need to start thinking about expanding our base out. Because we've, we are the only player on the server at the moment where we're kind of getting everything set up. We know... Interesting. And there should be a reinforced door. Okay. We're going to slowly start building us some foundations. And we're going to keep old Jeff with us. At the very least, if worse comes to worse, we can sacrifice Jeff and, and, and live and get away possibly. That's, that's the mathematical value I come up with in my head is lots, lots of stone to put lots of things. Ideally, man, if I could just, you know what I need to do? I need to find a bolo. That's what I need to do. I need to make a bolo. Bet you I can craft one of those right now. Okay, here we go. That by the time this thing breaks out of the bola, we are probably going to have so much torpor on it that we'll be able to kill it. Yeah, look, it's already down. Okay, sweet. Jeff, good job. 30, there we go. Hey, that's just enough to make a saddle if we had the wood. Okay. And Jeff, we're going to go ahead and up your health a little bit. And you get all that meat because you absolutely proved to me that if I say no, you're probably going to do something bad to me. There's a level of respect between a pet and its owner, guys. And that's enough to take the saddle. Awesome. Hey, I too leveled up. You just realize you, you need to get Zamazenta to actually complete your decks. Yes, yes you do. You need somebody with shield to send you Zamazenta. And, or is that Zacian? I forget which is shield and which one's sword, but you have to have both. And it's kind of unfortunate, but it is the way it works. What we leveled up while we were doing that? Interesting. Um, so health, that, 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 that. Fortitude up a little bit higher because torpor is a real thing. All right, Jeff, listen here. This is your saddle. There are many like it, but this one's yours. I don't know if I can jump on top of our base doing that, but I'm going to try. Nope, okay. 
bet we are very excited that Jeff now has a saddle. So if we got to get out of there, we can just launch right up on top of Jeff and say, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's 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 one way to do it. Or it, that's only if you're worried, of course, about doing a living dax, which most people kind of are, right? We need wood and stone for the next one. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna just fill up on wood here. We're just going to get some stone. Of course, the wonderful thing about being in the really prehistoric times is you don't have to worry about the uh, laws about your pets and when they decide to defecate. We are going to take that off. Yeah, it's kind of like what I'm doing. Um, I've got, you know, a couple of saves going. You like to keep one, but if you just trade, yeah, exactly. That's all you have to do is, is trade and get it back. You just have to have had one at one point. That's all Pokemon cares about. importantly than that is a forge which means I need to take Jeff and we need to go we need to take the Jeff okay hold the phone oh no no come on options change name there we go it's the Jeff If anybody out there gets that, that's amazing. If not, that's okay. Go get him, the Jeff. Oh yeah, if only it were that simple. Um, it would be amazing. It would be amazing. I, I, I personally would be like, you did sort of lose the rusted item in your possession in the first place. Are you sure you can hang on to it? And you'd be like, yes, I think I can hang on to it now. starving again. Man. Yeah, there, you know, I, I kind of like this hop storyline in this Pokemon iteration that we played. It, it, uh, it was a lot different from the, you know, classic rivals. I'm, Yeah, it's a Carno that we're still going to wave well enough alone because it's a Carno. 
Um, but yeah, Hop is, it was, I hate to use these words that are about to come out of my mouth, but Hop is more like an annoying rival. He was not really a rival, he was more of an annoyance. It's like, well, I guess if it says rival on your name tag, then you must be rival. But it doesn't feel like that. Like, if anything, like, I never, I never once felt like I was going to lose to Hop. He had an interesting story, don't get me wrong. But it wasn't anything that I felt really embodied what the Pokemon Rival was supposed to be. I'm hoping that the Psychic and, and Poison Trainers are actually going to be better rivals. Kind of just looking towards shapes at this point and, and hoping, like, like cringing if I say green eyes because the green eyes are what the toxic dinos have. And that's that's something we really want to avoid if we can. Jeff, snack. Barry? Okay, I, I don't know who Barry is. I guess. I mean, I know Gary. And I know... Um, the Thief from Silver, Crystal, and Gold. But I don't know Barry. Pokemon Diamond Pearl Platinum. Okay. I mostly skipped those. So it's like, so Digger and I got DS, um, 3DSs, or we got a DS Lite and 3DSs, like when Black White 2 came out. And so I have a copy of, of Pearl, I think, that has a save on it, but I've never played it. And so I keep thinking, well, I should go and play it. But it's already to the point to where you can transfer Pokemon from Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Leaf Green, Fire Red over to it. And I kind of want to start transferring Pokemon over to it so I can get them over to uh, Pokemon Box so I can get them in Pokemon Home. It's 3.30. Interesting. So the day cycle on the server could use a tweak. Like on some of the servers, it's Christmas, and so night makes a lot easier since to be night. Okay. That yeah, looks like it's a big old dodo. Are you toxic? Yes, you look toxic. Okay. Jeff, don't kill the toxic dodo. Well, we killed the Toxic Dodo, so there's that. Oh. Hello. Well, yeah, they, they, do, they did it a lot back in the day, though. Like, Crystal was a different story. Your Primal Spear broke. Okay. We like the Primal Spears. We're going to craft all three that we can. 
point, nobody messes with the Jeff. Oh, what's that? Oh, nice. I got no clue what those are used for yet. But, but, I, uh... We're gonna find out. Well, I gotta level up. Okay. Okay, my, my melee, my weight. We're gonna up my melee again. All right, so we're gonna see. There's a primal fear crap. Oh, there's a primal smithy. Oh. Interesting. All right, primal. Oh. Oh. Okay. Primal Refining Forge. Okay, so it just grabs faster. Alright, so we have... We learned the Primal Smithy. We need Crystal for it, though. Okay. So we're going to have to get better. We're going to have to get good. Alright. Okay. Jeff, you, my buddy, pal. Don't get to come in. All right. Not for right now. Okay, let's see here. All right, that's good. So be able to kind of roam around a little bit if he needs to. If he needs to fight back, he'll fight back. Right. Behavior stance. Put him on. Yeah, he's good with that. Okay. Turtle Club, we are going to take a small break. It's going to be a little bit of a brief intermission. Like we mentioned, we're going to be doing these for about 10 minutes every hour. Get up, get the blood pumping, that kind of stuff. Part of the things that we talked about yesterday morning, I'm a big dude, and one of the things I got to do to not be a big dude is get up and move around a lot more. So I will return. Uh, we are going to be here, and uh, we will still keep the uh, the screen going a little bit. But thanks for watching. We will return. We're going to keep the, the, the feet alive.
All right, we are back. And deadlier than ever, as Giggity would say, we are... Well, we're, we're alive. That's really all we can ask for. Okay, let's see. I don't know if, like, a thousand is good for his actual health. But we'll find out. And next... These expire in three days. If they're in the cooler, they expire in 31 days. Hey, I feel a lot better about them, too. The toxic hide, though. And these. Okay. Kind of sorting through my inventory a bit. So we, we're going to build a refining forge. We still need to build a refining forge. So we need the hide. All right. We don't need those ammo pieces yet. Oh. Well, hello. Don't we feel just silly? Um. Yeah. We're like, oh, we need some hide. We need some hide. We need some hide. Wouldn't it be amazing if we just had hide? Have hide, will craft. Oh, where are we at on this? We are not. We're 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 getting a little high up. Not too bad though. All right. So now we can put down a forge and start smelting metal. And what about the smithy? This we just need, we need one more piece of hide for. Are we kidding ourselves? All right, we, we are not. All right, Jeff, let's go find some, let's go get some hide. How big is this potential piece of hide? Uh, this is big enough to where we need another bola. Excuse me, we're here to get some hide. We didn't mean to hit that button at all. We so did not want the wooden ceiling. It's level 554. If we can just way lace to it and get it to torpor before it gets running off. He just, he just outright killed it before the end. Okay. That works. Okay. So now we can craft the next thing we're going to craft, which is our smithy. Right? Did we forget to just learn smithy? I mean, is that what happened? Because that's a simple bed. Yeah, we forgot to learn smithy. Okay. I feel a little less intelligent. But that's one of the side effects of arc. All right. Come on, the Jeff. We're gonna get all of the metal. These smooth rocks here that are like circular, they will plink out for some metal. And then we're gonna have to actually put them in to cook. Let's let's go start up the forge. Let's get let's take one of these trees down first. Dehydrated. We're gonna cannonball. Metal. 
gonna split this in half. And we're gonna get some more metal. That's definitely not enough metal, but it's getting there. And we're gonna light that fire. Because Jeff is faster than we are, we're going to take Jeff for a little bit of a drive here. And we know Jeff will multitask like a champ for us. Oh man. Tell you what, though, there's another toxic dodo over there. Hmm. Melee damage up again. There goes the Jeff after another toxic dodo. We don't quite know who wins this fight. And Jeff could be way out of his league here. Yep, there it goes. It got a hold of Jeff. Well, let's just take everything off the of Jeff we can. Well, unfortunately, that's that's it for Jeff. and narco berries for the spear okay and yeah, we can't even tame this thing because technically it's it's uh it's too high Hoping we can just keep it at bay. I think if we just keep stabbing at it with the spear, it can never get close enough to us. I mean, its melee range is pretty big. We just gotta make sure that we reposition when it breaks. Or its melee range is pretty small, rather. Jeff did bloody it up pretty good. All right. We're going to get as much hide off of this thing as we can. 
no toxic cash that time. That's unfortunate. So, Jeff, I'm sorry, buddy. You died in vain. There is no reason for you to die. Unfortunately. take the metal. I think we got some metal. Maybe not. Maybe Jeff just died and we didn't get anything else from it at all, right? Oh, one piece of metal. Okay. We're nowhere near where we want to be in this world. This brave new world without Jeff and it just feels hollow and empty. Oh my gosh. Alright. Put some meat there. Actually, we need to eat some. Actually, hold up. That's a big one, so we don't want to drop it today, just anywhere. We just put it right there. It'll it'll spoil eventually. I do like the the toxic hide. It's pretty cool. Uh, peak on group. That's actually really awesome graphics. In my opinion, as far as that goes, this thing trigger anything else? No. Nope. Matter of fact, if anything, it probably thinks we're, we're weaker than we were. A level 80 Carbinimus. Okay, that's not bad. Here's some more rocks, and we just not had Jeff go after the Toxic Dodo. Had we not decided to mess with it. Ancient old statements, guys. Won't start none, won't be none. We just wouldn't leave well enough alone. We will persevere, though. course as always shout out to the lurk squad you all know who you are thanks for lurking thanks for being part of the channel uh, your guys' watches and likes and all that mean a lot more than you'll ever know I can just say thank you is all I can do Stegor going at it. Lurk, haha. <laughs> yeah, I'll get old Keo, case in point. Of course, I know what Keo is up to. He's, he's busy completing a Pokedex, which is not an easy thing to do at all. At all. I have no clue what that. That looks like it's another raptor. Ugh. And it's probably not a baby. It is probably not a baby. Oh, that's a that's a Frez. Oh my gosh. A stigma lock. I don't know what that is. Is that the new thing? I bet that's the new thing. 268 out of 400. Yes, it, it does... Uh, it's definitely one of those numbers that seem like it's getting close. Trust me on that. <laughs> like, once you get going, once you're down to, like, the last hundred or so, it flies by really fast. And the best thing I can recommend is just... It seems fun funny and silly, but surprise trade? Like, just grab a dinosaur for surprise trades and just keep doing surprise trades and when there's a dino that you need an egg for just egg that dino and then trade it back getting a ditto of course makes life a whole lot easier too Oh, 
that's the new freaky. Okay, that's something we don't want to have anything to do with. That's the new, like, flying raptor thing. I don't think we can tame that even. Exactly, exactly. Oh, we are far enough away from our base where we're okay, but I... I think we've kind of outlived our welcome up this coast at the moment. Start heading back. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. That's the, the so the next thing I'm trying to do on my game, and I'll a after this arc stream today, I'll probably go back to it. Um, it's going to be one of those things that we're going to go and very carefully try and start setting up duplications for sword and shield. Like the sword specific and the shield specific dinos. I just want to start getting extras of those built up so when people come to the streams like, hey, I need blah, I can go, I got you. Just give me a few minutes and I will hatch one. And actually, don't even give me a few minutes. I'll just give you the one I'm going to get the egg out of. That's the that's one of the things I'm trying to do. The next thing I'm trying to do is get a a six IV ditto. I have a five IV ditto, but its HP stats bad. So I want to get I want to try to get the the six IV so I can start trying to start hatching perfect IV dinos. Was that oh that's another toxic yeah we'll grab another toxic egg I don't know what the toxic dodo eggs are used for but I'm all for that are you a freaky moth shops no you're not but it wants giant bee honey uh Oh, IVs on the console games aren't that hard to do. On, on Sword Shield, on Swish, it's it's simple. Like, it's ridiculously simple. I got a, a buddy of mine that we streamed with on the other channel, Stripe McLean. And he was very disappointed on how easy. Like, he's one of those guys that at work would spend, like, days hatching Pokemon. And now it's, like, hours. He said it, it really kind of defeated the... The appeal of the game for him. All right, let's see here. Put that in, it's gonna be 26 divided by two, it's gonna be 13. That'll be just enough to make our Smith. Actually, just a little bit more. So we should be okay. We should absolutely be all right. Yeah, uh, perfect IV ditto. So perfect IV ditto Keo requires you to get a five star ditto raid out of the ditto den. That's it. And a five star ditto is going to have like either four, five, or six IVs perfect. And usually it's going to be five, occasionally six, and occasionally four. Like, Digret and I did one five-star... We did a four-star Ditto Raid and got five IVs perfect out of it. 
it was ridiculously easy. And that was when we decided just to, we burned, like 14 wishing star pieces between the two of us. But when you think about the amount of IV patching and stuff you'd have to do in prior versions of the game, that many wishing pieces is just laughable. It's like, oh, is that all? All right. Oh, that's a nice colored pteranodon. Level 180 for like the electric. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to go up to one of these things and hit it with my axe. And I'm going to find out that it's like a, uh, a toxic instead of being just a puppy. This is a real good location, though. Yeah. It, well, it's laughable, and that was just that was between the two of us, and so yeah, it was just in, insane how easy it was. Is that a drop down in the water? It is. Oh, that's a Nopomagus Rex. Oh no. It's an Edomagosaurus. Oh, we, we don't need any of those. We don't need any of those. Hey, Devasiardes! Hello! Oh no, that's a tickle chicken getting way too close to our base. That's a tickle chicken getting way too close to our base. Oh, okay, time to go on a scouting mission. So one of the things that we normally play with Turtle Club is the Death Recovery Mod. And this server is actually Death Recovery Mod free. So anytime that we die, anytime that we are killed by something, uh, we do not get the advantage of simply clicking it on a box and getting our stuff back. So that means that if we're going to go do stupid things, we're going to have to be way ready for the consequences. So I don't know if this is going to be a toxic variant, or if this is going to be real. Hmm. Gotta get close enough to see what it is though. Oh, we're going to see what it is. It's going to be on our death log. What it is. But, it at least will chase us all the way out this way. Yep. We can't super outrun it because we want it to keep going and going and going. Really, there's otters here. Oh, aberrant otters. Interesting. Okay. It's a whole dilo pack. There's just a whole lot of death nearby where we're about going. All right, that's just the female Thresno. Okay. All right. So we're dead. Rip us. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. We can respawn on our bed. We didn't lose anything but a little bit of 
a little bit of materials that we actually gathered after we put all of our stuff away. So I'm okay with that. Um, what I'm not okay with is those freaky uber um, raptors that are kind of like camping out where we're at. So not keen on that at all. All right. So let's uh, take all of our tools back. We knew he was going to die, so we prepared for death, and we did okay. We did okay. But what we can do is over here. No, 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 wait, no, no, no. We need to come over here. Get to the bait station. Baits. All right. Blueberry bait. I don't know, blubber bait. A blueberry bait. Okay. Botany bell. What about this? All right. So. Try that. Grab all these berries out of here. We need a lot more spark powder to keep that thing going too. So we're gonna have to get some spark powder built. But much like the locusts, we tend to use all of our resources nearby us. Oh my gosh. perplexed why that toxic dodo died so fast. That was weird. No ex no explosion. Same with that. Okay, there, there's some issues with this map. Um, Hope map is, you know, still in beta. Okay, so we need we need thatch and wood before this thing breaks. We got one more swing on it. Oh my gosh. We gotta we gotta beat this thing until we get wood out of the tree. All right. getting a little bit of metal out of these. Interesting. Alright. Let's go build some spark powder and then we're gonna build some some bait and we're gonna build some bait arrows for the herbivores. And we're gonna see how well that, that tames. Cause they're supposed to work pretty good. Craft 44 that, all right. Baits. So we can make a few of those, make five. Arrows. Let's 
So we need stone arrows. We need a bow. Oh my gosh, we need so many things. Um, bow. Yes. And arrow. Craft. Arrow. We need fiber and lots of flint. And we need to put this fire here. Or this metal in the fire. Okay. That's level 580, this is not good. Oh, we're down to our last spear. This has gone beyond not good to just really bad. This has gone to disastrous. Take care, man. Thanks for hanging out with this Kyo. We appreciate it, man. We need some flint. I have the high ground. I need more flint. Oh my gosh. decidedly smaller, right? Yeah, you're level 100. Alright, now you are level way not smaller. Matter of fact, you probably one that did all the damage to me while I wasn't looking. Once I can make the pike, it's going to be so much better. make a few arrows now oh by a few I mean two wow wow so so few arrows um, why what am I missing for arrows fiber in f not as much that we think okay so what about the bow can we make a bow 
Not yet, but we need fiber for that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got all this fiber growing up around us. We 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 absolutely should have this. Foxy, how's it going, McAdoo? All right, so we got that. We have the arrows. All right. So now we can come over here to this bait station. Drop these arrows in here. Go to arrows. So far, so good. Learning some things about these new mods we got. These are bait arrows. Okay. feel sort of cheated didn't seem to do a single thing of course I was supposed to also look to see if this guy was tameable first no you're not tameable what about you? What about you? I bet you you're above 300 also, aren't you? You're a 540. Okay. So that did basically nothing. What level are you? You're level 80. And you tame with berries. So we're going to try shooting one nearby you. Once you get out of the water. Looks like it wants to eat the berries. So it, it smells the bait and goes to eat the bait. Interesting. Okay. And it's gaming taint percentage. Let's say Lower your weapon to interact with this carb enemy. Okay. Pet. Oh, this is pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. This is pretty neat. I just hope it 
comes back for the other food. It can now be hand fed bait in corpses. This is actually not a bad way to tame stuff. Like, all right, wait till it's hungry again. Okay, we've run on the bait, so we're gonna have to like totally depend upon paid, petting this thing, maybe. the idea of just petting this thing all the way up to 100. Taming effect notes is, is level 100 at the moment still. Let's uh, just put some berries in the last spot there. Maybe it'll eat those just right out of our hand. Oh. Okay. I am... What was that? Did he just throw something down? It, it provided stem berries to us. It actually dropped stem berries for us. because why not? Alright, and that is something we do need to make is a trough. And we do have the auto trough still on this mod, on this map. And that's because at the end of the day we get to play ARC for about maybe one, two times a week. And so we just don't have it. We just don't have the ability to super take care of all these things. But, what that also tells me is we might be able to do bait for a threads now or something. Maybe we'll get lucky and we haven't cooked all this metal yet. Not all of it, but enough to where it's not going to let us build the trough. We need eight metal, some wood, some fiber. Okay. I like pets. You can stay there. We'll call you Ilp for sure. Ilp, stay. And Turtle Club, this is Mag vs. Wild. We're going to be streaming at a different hour and that we used to. And that's so we can have some of our actual old crew be able to get to watch it um, like McAdoo
Yes, that's also part of this mod. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this one or not. All right, I know what we can do. Well, what was that? That was a dial away we just grabbed. That's the opposite of what we were trying to do. Oh my gosh. Go tank it, go tank it. We're hoping you can tank it. We don't want you to die like Jeff. Ah, there we go. There we go. A toxic ter No. No, we're good with that. We don't have any desire to go after a toxic terror bird. Like, none whatsoever. Oven. Fire that up. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of what this mod has to deal with, uh, from what I've noticed here, Mac do is it's it's the immersive taming mod. It's alongside Primal Fear and Brutal Arc, and hopefully, hopefully it turns out to be pretty fun. I uh, I really enjoy Brutal. I really. I like the fact that I'm terrified of the things in Primal Arc more than I am of the things in Brutal, uh, which is kind of funny. All right. And we're coming up on another break, guys. As it just became dark, since we need to get up, move around for about 10 minutes. Uh, this might actually be a good time for a break. Watch another streamer play with the mod. Looks fun. It is fun uh, so far. I've only just used it for that one dino. But it's been, it's been, I like it. It's interesting. With it dark, it's not a bad time for us to take a break, get up, move around. And we will be back in about another 10 minutes, guys.
And we're back. All right, later, McAdoo. We just got to get up and make sure we move around a lot. Again, we something we started yesterday. Trying to get to a smaller mag synchro. Step by step, bit by bit. But it does require us to do things that we don't quite care for. Namely, not sit on our for all the time. Okay, let's see. We got a pretty good amount of stuff here. Potent Trank, oh, wow. I bet you that would make short work of them of those other animals. All right, let's see here. Definitely want to pop that there and pets, we'll just keep you right there. And You have so much. I'm just gonna up all your all your all your points. All right, arrows. You can make a few more of those. Excellent. And what about the baits? Can we make spark powders? The missing contagion right there, right? So. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so do we have the materials to make some spark powder on us? Enough to make a couple more baits. I feel like when it comes to taming carnivores, though, we're going to need a whole lot more than just a couple pieces. I think we're going to need, like, lots. By lots, I mean, like, way lots. Alright, so we need fiber, and we need... Stone. Lots of fiber. Lots of stone. And we need the stone mainly for the flint. Which is fine because we need the metal for the Need the metal for the trough. Alright, so trough. We need wooden thatch. One well, 60 and 120. Alright, so we possibly get the 120 wood really easy. It's like 50 wood. Seventy six wood, hundred and two wood, lots. Okay, so now we just need thatch. All right. So now we're just going to. Okay, those are the drops coming out, I guess. Yeah, the drops coming out. Okay. A rare tarantula? Okay. Interesting. I wonder 
their freaking team with Bronte with berries. It's a lot of berry arrows. I bet I could do it though. It would just take a really long time. So now we got us our trough. We got all the the flint and the stone for some spark powder. Got plenty of more meat. Well, so craft all of that. Craft six of those. All right, we can make nine meat baits or six. Is that because we? We like the spark powder again. Wow, spark powder is so mean on this. We're gonna make the nine arrows there. And we're gonna make only five. That's fine. Take the mean bait, put that bait there. Put that bait, put that bait there. Take one of the herbivore tame arrows or the baits. So that's the trike. We're not too worried about the trike. Actually, I bet you Pteranodons could tame with mean arrows. How big are you? Level 80? Alright, awesome. I wouldn't mind a Demorphodon. 
Dude, I'll definitely allow this pteranodon to... little Dwarfodon, come back this way. Both of these are under our little buff. I don't care which one goes near it, just as long as one of them goes near it. Start following you around, it says. That's what we're waiting for. This thing starts following us around. We'll be able to lead it to more bait. Be able to pet it more. This is making this super easy. Oh, wait a second. That was cool. There was a pick up all nearby option. When did they add that? Has a present for us. Ah, it's got some keratin. This is about to be really, really violent. Level 600 Dinognan is just... Well, all of our stuff's out there. Well, we're gonna have to get our stuff. That's that's gonna be our mission before we end stream guys is we got to get our stuff our stuff must be gotten We are there which means psycho chickens are also With Any luck it chase something off I do like the bait system though. The bait's neat. Oh, 
Oh, there's two of them over there. Oh my gosh. Hope I didn't like my stuff, because... Holy snot rags. So in the trailer for these things, they were rather aggressive toward big dinos. So I kind of hope it decides to go and try to eat like a big dino. We're just trying to lead it away from our body. Trying to lead it from our base. Failing at it miserably. We'll respawn random location because that's all we can do. We are not in a good spot. We are all the way over by the toxic piggies. Oh my gosh. Over here is some soylent green bacon and we don't want any of it. Stand build up if we can. Oh, that was swampy stuff. We don't know where we're at. We just know we're not where we want to be. Cross the water, cross the water. There's our base. So we made it to our base. There's our two corpse bags. I think we take this opportunity to politely go to our base and drop everything we've managed to grab off into here. A flare gun. Those are all skins. Okay. I doubt this flare gun's gonna do absolutely anything against these guys. Except make them mad possibly. If they're even over here. I th think I might have tricked them into attacking other stuff. Never use 
a furry gun before. I did not know it made a small popping noise like that. Um. I think we managed to survive. Nice. Uh, Kai Weiderings. Not much, man. Not much. We are just on a, a corpse bag run. We got two of them to make. I don't even know what's on the second one. But so far, we're figuring out all the things about Primal Fear and all the things about Immersive Taming and all the things about the things we don't know about. Alright, let's grab all that stuff so we can make yet another bag in our inventory of all the skins that we don't want. Okay. I should play Raft? You know, Raft doesn't ever look really fun to me. I've, I've had a offer for a review copy and it just didn't seem like it appealed. I mean, I, I looked at it, uh, Epic Potato Chip, one of the guys that we actually like to hang out with and stream with sometimes. He played it, he said it was okay. It just seemed like it was very too short, in his opinion. That's that, that's that. Okay, so we can drop those over there. We want to keep that. Oh, that's cool. Well, it is probably going to wind up going on the backlog of all of the other games that I would like to play that are quote unquote much better. Um, the one that I, I still haven't yet played uh, since they updated it forever ago was Conan Exiles. I've been told by a lot of people that it's greatly improved. But uh, that doesn't actually increase spoil time at all. But Conan Exiles was just so bad when I first played it. I just, I don't think I could stomach trying it again. No matter how much I want to. Alright, so let's grab that and that. So we can do, pick up the stone foundation. Drop this wooden foundation right there. Put the stone foundation back. Yeah, we, we actually started playing Conan Exiles when it first came out. Like, the day of the very first early Access Republic, we played it, and it was just so horrible. I mean, it just... It, it, I wanted it to be so, so good so badly, and it, it really just was horrible. Uh, I had a tribe on a dedicated private server. It was me and three other guys. We did the math to build a metal base just for the four of us. It was going to take us like 30 days of doing nothing but playing Conan. And apparently it's not much better. It takes like a full week around the clockwork um, on regular stats. And it's just... I, I just... But when you're like, yeah, it's no longer a full week, that definitely is a lot better than what it used to be. Okay, these seeds, while they don't need to be in the smoker, they definitely can be in the smoker. I don't need that there because it's so plentiful in this game. All right, we'll take up far less space to do that because it's food-based. All right. So last thing to do here. Any other games you're thinking of playing soon? Uh, not really. Um, there's a lot of games that we have looked at on our radar. Um, there, We just picked up Oceanhorn not too long ago. We're going to be playing that on Wednesdays. Uh, we're still playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. 
The Witcher, uh, it's a family friendly channel, Kai. So unfortunately, The Witcher is not family friendly. So if, if you look at the top of the, the video, it's hashtag family friendly. And so we, we don't, there's certain, certain things that go on in certain games that we don't play. Um, as far as private time goes, um, we definitely play games along that nature. Uh, however, the one that's currently on our radar in that vein uh, is Borderlands uh, 3 and uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Those are the two that we're playing in that aspect of, of gaming. Uh, that's, a, that's a tickle chicken. Looks like... Let's see if it wants to eat a pair of swords instead of us. It does. Good. It can eat that pair of swords instead of us. I th think those raptor chickens, the flying insane crazy things, I think it actually met up with a Therizno that killed us earlier. And so we will absolutely let it be where it wants to be. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Ooh, beavers? I like the fact there's a beaver there. I mean, somewhere around here, there's possibly a beaver dam. But yeah, Borderlands 3 and Divinity Original Sin... Uh, or Divinity 2 Original Sin are definitely the two that I'm playing that are the more uh, less family friendly type games. But yeah, we have nieces and nephews who like to watch YouTube with my brothers and sisters, and so we make sure that they can do that with the whole family. Okay. So we got our stuff back. I feel like and this thing's wanting honey if I recall correctly. A giant bee honey. Is this a moss chops egg? It is oh I like the pickup all bat all nearby. That's such a nice addition to Ark. Such a nice addition. I don't know if it's the mod that does that, or if it's actually base arc that does that now, but hot fudge and have mercy. Alright, so pick up some stone arrows that we got from that kit. Everything seems to be okay. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so... I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. All right, we're going to do this. Because we're going to test this for science. Normally, we're going to be ending the stream series, guys, at about 6 o'clock in the morning Eastern. Um, because I have to, you know, eat before I go to bed in four hours. But we couldn't just leave it here. I need to put this bag in there. And what about baits? Can I make some more of these baits? I can make one more? Why is that so? Is it the spark powder? It's the spark powder. Okay, we'll craft one more of those. And no, uh, we don't want our bow in there. Barely want our arrows in there, but... Okay, let's see here. Wow, it takes spark powder... Oh, that's that's kind of rude. Oh well. Hey, Alan Gowen. How's it going? Alright, so let's split this in half so we can let that start to spoil. The berries, though, we don't like them to spoil if we can avoid it. So let's go ahead and put those all over here. Alright. So for science, 
we're gonna see if we can tame one of these things with a bait arrow. Oh my gosh, it does. Going fantastic and brilliant. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Oh, that's not even fair on the amount of tame it doesn't get, though. But that's okay. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're uh, we're experiencing what immersive taming has to offer. We thought. Hello. Good go, Bronte. It's a pretty neat mod. Um, it allows a lot of different things to be passive tamed. Earlier we tamed a turtle with it. And we started to tame a Pteranodon and a Dimorphodon with it. And we got killed by feather chickens. We can like put a trail of these. I like the little yipping noise it makes, it's kind of cool. Oh no, 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 no. We so. Oh, that's a zombie dodo, though. Oh my gosh. All right, is this is this the toxic spear? No, it's not. Ah. that we can tame this. Oh, oh, we can start petting it now. Okay. We might be able to totally passive tame this thing. But that zombie dodo really doesn't want us to be able to do that. Dark Souls? <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of like that a little. Um... It can definitely be like that if you're not careful. You can get absolutely wrecked like in Dark Souls. Um, okay, we're going to grab us a Torpor Spear. If we have one in here. Do we have one in here? No, but we have Torpor Arrows. So let's, let's actually grab the Potent Drank Arrows because we have them. Why not use them? So, this thing we're wanting to definitely try to tame by feeding it, that kind of stuff. And this thing we're trying to tame by petting it. Yeah, it could definitely turn on a, just out of nowhere, or our weapon. Will you let me pet you? Yeah, you will let us pet you. Okay, awesome.
need regular berries? Because if you need regular berries, we got you. Just grab some regular me mejo berries. I would love nothing more than in this stream with a zombie dodo plus a brontosaurus tamed. That in the feeding slot, and that in this slot here. All right, let's let's check the zombie dodo. It's getting zero tame. Maybe it needs like real meat, like. Stuff that we're about to eat. Put it back in that in the preserving bin. I don't know what zombies eat. I mean, I would expect spoiled meat, but maybe not. A female toxic zombie dodo. giving you all the things that I can think of to give you and you're not being pleasant about it you might just have to kill this thing and hope for the best Whoa, what was that oh all nearby fifteen percent taming not bad Put food in inventory to tame it says. We've put berries, narcotics, spoiled, meat. Shoot some. No, no, not you. That was not for you. It startled from being petted by me. Well, this thing seems like it doesn't care to to do anything, so we're just going to have to kill it. Unfortunate. We were able to knock it out, but we don't know what to do afterwards, so. Yes, yeah, so I don't know where we're at with that necessarily. We do know that we are slowly gaining trust to it. It's at 20%. Hmm. 
doing math and counting in my head right now. To gain its trust to lower, it lower its guard, I don't know what to do for that. That's a yellow color there, though. It's gonna be a hot minute before we can actually saddle one of these things, though. My gosh. I don't even know if we have a Brontosaurus saddle at all. Can we even learn it? Nope. Fabled and Alpha, but not regular. Well, now. It will not attack unless provoked. Okay, well that's that's good. Ice skating. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Enjoy, Ewan. Okay, so I think this thing is. Alright, so it's no longer startled. It actually enjoys being pet by us. I think it's actually going to increase its tame a lot more when we pet it. It's at 29, it's been getting like 1-2% to per pet. And yeah, it's actually doing a little bit better, not much. Alright, it, it fed, it actually ate the kibble we dropped. Awesome. bait in last slot to feed, but we don't have any bait anymore in last slot. Boy, this is going to be a long uphill petting. What level is this thing anyway? It's level 180, which is good. It means we can actually keep it and not have it go psycho on us. doing all that maybe we gotta grab some materials for some spark powder So that will keep for just a little bit. So we're going to run all the way back to our base. Because we don't have a better way to do this. Make all the spark powder we can. While it's crafting that out, we're going to go ahead and drop this in there. Grab the berries, put the spoiled meat away and the narcs away. Grab all those. 
Grab all that. Baits, no. What are we missing for that? Tinto berries. We don't have any Tinto berries? We got Tinto berries. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Make 15 of those. Okay. We're going to grab five of these baits. We're going to go back over to this thing. Oh, wow. It really enjoys being hand fed, it said. Yeah, we're definitely going to enjoy this mod, I think. It's going to make the herbivores a lot easier to tame. What is that? Weird. Yeah, that's already up to 50% ever since we started doing that. Wait till it's hungry again. Oh, that's the uh, that's the icon for it being part of the mod, being tamed by the mod. Okay. Pretty effective. Care for it says. Close. Look at it though. It's like it's like destroying terrain as it walks around. This is a much easier way to tame a brontosaurus, though. My gosh. All right. Then we're gonna run back to our base and grab the rest of the bait we got. Because now that the bait's doing its thing, that's that's pretty impressive. I just don't know how we do the toxic ones. Oh, it's over here. Alright, and let's grab that, grab these. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the spark powder that we made extra as well. All the berries, meat, spark powder into the bin. Raw metal. Can go there for right now. Asking those. Nah, put everything over there. And hopefully our brontosaurus hasn't forgotten who we are. Has a present for you. Oh, look. Wow, pick up all nearby. I like that all nearby thing. I don't know what added the all nearby thing, but man, is it a big, huge thing in the arc. We're about to get a level 180 Brontosaurus without firing a single arrow into the brontosaurus we fired a couple at it 
because we had to get his attention. This thing is like. Oh, and it gets a gift. 100 narco berries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is. This is. Some pretty good stuff here, Turtle Club. Alright, alright. What's this? Okay, it's old allegiance will soon fade. Okay, that's that's whoa, look at all that. We got some experience from that in a half. Okay, so I th think next we're gonna go in and get up our health a few more points. Level sixty five. Nice. And there's so much in the tame helper. What's this? Okay, interesting. Biovirus. Don't know what the terminal vi biovirus is. I don't quite care for that. Interesting. Huh. So many things I have no clue what they do, guys. Turtle Club, I am lost in some of this. A bait balloon. That's kind of cool. Or an alpha health potion? Oh, that's because of... Alright, that's what's going on there. That's a small change to the UI also. We already know the primal pike. But it's going to be made at the primal smithy. A kibble bait station. Interesting. Okay, we need to take Bessie. We take Bessie home. Come on, Bessie. closer. She's got all the food that she needs. Alright. Turtle Club, this has been pretty interesting. I'm going to try just a few more things real quick. Right, that's a Mel Dodo. This is a level 360 female, which means it will aggro on us as soon as it decides it no longer wants to be our pet. What about these? Level 200 female, level 380. Alright, here we go. Female dodo. Escalated real quick with the female dodo. All right.
so we can now pet it and we should be able to now start feeding it and caring for it this is going to be like one of the fastest dodo teams I think we've ever had this is pretty cool wow that's actually pretty amazing it's pretty amazing. All right, so the immersive taming is definitely going to have to be tweaked a bit. Um, but yeah, okay. And wow, okay. So the big thing we need now. We need a lot of stone. Because we need to start building the stone foundations for the preparation when the game decides that we're ready to start being attacked by dinosaurs. But I dare say this bait is going to be definitely a game changer for the vanilla stuff, right? I don't think it's going to be so much a big thing for the the toxic stuff and all that. But I really do think some of these other things will be amazingly dealt with. Looking forward to that. Kinda looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to those things over there getting tired of being over there. Okay, that's a beaver that had to tangle with something. Somewhere around here is going to be a beaver. Beaver hive or a beaver dam, whatever you want to call it. Hazelberries, nope. I'm looking for some plant species X. Can we get some plant species X? Yeah, that's where they usually come up in the in the in the in the swamp, but there's some rare flowers. Look at these prehistoric flowers, guys. They're just ginormous. Oh, there's some rock carrot seeds. Hey, now we're talking. Thought I heard something that wasn't us gathering stuff. We'll be able to try to feed them with rock carrots eventually. Getting plenty of stone. Plenty of stone. I am starving. We're also getting plenty of berries. Can I eat one of those? Nope. 
not able to eat the bait. That's fine. Another toxic egg. Man. Man alive, man alive. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. Get a little bit more of this. Two of those just need to thatch in the wood now. All right, excellent. Get the wood first, break our hatchet in a few seconds, and it will be good. I think that's where we'll be able to probably end our stream. Okay, we got enough wood. Now we just gotta get the thatch for two of them. it but it is what it is all right so next we're gonna go back to our wooden foundation we got all we need for that except for the wood all right we're gonna make two wooden foundations Calling it quits in just a second, Turtle Club. Um, gotta eat. <laughs> Food's important. Food's important. But we're we're still getting we're still filling out the schedule. You know, we we we're kind of figuring out what we can can't really do on a consistent basis. This is a nice change of pace from what we normally do. And I really like playing Ark for a bit more than you know uh, an hour or two. So. In fact, we're able to go from like one to seven almost. Really good. Uh, we've been taking a break about every hour or so. And so we're about to take a break, but we're gonna come back and just stop the stream. So we're actually just gonna kinda let this load. We're gonna kinda look at this here. Um, so this kinda tells us, oh, I like this. Oh my gosh, the Digger's gonna love this. This is this is exactly what Diggret would like to have in a game. Oh, it does it search. Oh my gosh. Okay. Doesn't require KO, doesn't require combat. Toxic Raptor. The baits it'll eat. Okay, so we don't know. It will do food baits. Interesting. Okay. 
the arc info, which is our our stats and everything here. So I, I'm liking this. This is this is good. This is good. Okay. Well, Turtle Club, this has been amazing. Uh, we do have the the dark hitting again as well. So uh, we are going to try to work on the time on this server. So what we'll be able to start doing is when we have to take our little ten minute breaks every hour. Uh, we'll start having them be dark, and we'll have something to kind of put on the the screen for that. But yeah, everything here is looking pretty good. I uh, I really like the immersive taming mod. So there is there is one of the Arc Servers .io members who suggested to us. And again, that's the company that actually hosts and sponsors the server for us. Um, great company if you guys are looking for any kind of server the links to the description uh, will tell you where to go to get a server by these guys because it's just amazing what they're doing um, that's the last thing we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna make a storage storage box no we want to make a storage a large storage bin it's going to be our best bet because we can't put certain things in the compost bins. So yeah, let's just make the storage. We just need a little bit of wood, which we can grab and do that. That way we can get rid of the stuff that's in our inventory, kind of taking up a lot of needless space. Hey, we leveled up. That's a great way to end the stream, too. Leveling up. Bam, 65. 65 is going to be a great level, I can already tell. Uh, we are going to keep up in this, these hit points. And we're to the point where we can really start probably gardening soon too. Alright, and just put all them in there, and we'll see what happens. But Turtle Club, thanks for watching. Uh, Kai Weeterings and Ewan Govan coming in there at, toward the last hour. McAdoo. Uh, Devasayates and Hoen Kioma uh, showing up in the second hour. And of course, starting off the stream with Lewis Snowy Gaming, Ball and Chain, Baja, and Gigaroni. Thank you guys for coming in and watching this, making this a great experience for everybody involved. Uh, we will see you tomorrow morning on the couch. I'm not sure exactly what we'll be playing. Um, I'm going to try to do some sort of new stuff on Mondays. But thank you for watching, and have a good one, Turtle Club. Take care.